But there's more. Guess, <laughs> there's, there's more. There's her, more. Her adventuring skills, there's, there's more problems. So she falls in the water. And like, super fortunate. Super fortunate finds this container that she uses as a flotation device. And then she threw it. Like, it's so fortunate to have perfectly landed in, in this spot where she got this flotation device. And she doesn't know how to swim or she maybe treads a little bit. Like, that makes sense. Like, where would she have learned how to swim inside the silo? Right? But then she finds this container. She, she props herself up on it. Flotation device. Perfect. Mm -hmm. It's still watertight. I have no idea what this, this container's history is. But also, mm -hmm. if it's watertight, then it's useful. <laughs> it's useful for, mm -hmm. for transferring water. But instead, she's like, if you bottle, yep. like, throw you away. If she needs so, it in the future, she's gonna have to take like rope and like fish it out, like try to like hula hoop it or pull it in, like. like just it's just another. It's another indicator that she doesn't doesn't really feel like she's lived in scarcity before because this is an intact container. It just saves your life. Gosh, actually, she worked in recycling. <laughs> she would right. have an astute sense for like this could be useful. This could be I useful. See. Because the containers that would come down to recycling would probably have holes in them, degraded, decrepit. Yep. Yep. All right, to have an intact container. I mean, if you have fluid, how do you transport it? You need a container with no holes. There's a container with no holes. That's right. Yep. If she needs and this just, again, she's like, oh, I need that container. Where is it? It's in the dark. In the, in the <laughs> darkness, she's got to try to find it. Like, no chance. She can't swim if it floats away. She's got to try to lasso it with a rope, but the rope is short now. Yeah. But I mean, okay, <gasps> she she flings it, it's going to float away to mm -hmm. wherever. Mm -hmm. Like there it is. Where is it going? Okay, I have a new idea for this bottle. She okay. opens it up, fills it with water. She yep. seals it tight. Yep. Ties the rope to it, and then now this is your anchor for the rope. You fling it to the side of the bridge that she wants, and then now yep. that's holding it in place. That's and water's heavy. There you go. It doesn't need to hold her whole mass. It just needs to stop the rope from falling moving, away. Right, from moving too much. I meant, yeah, heavy, because it's like once it's on the spot you want, it's yep. a lot of inert, a lot of mass to move with friction. So it's it's going to be difficult to dislodge from where it is. I just need the rope to not be flailing around as she tries to go down mm -hmm. it. Yep. So there's yeah. so many. <laughs> that's just one use for this container. There could be so many uses. That's right. Yeah, she's going to need to set up a... She's going to need to set up a fire eventually so that she can yep. clean water. And then she's going to need to bring water to that fire so that way she can boil it or whatever. And this container would, this would have been perfect. Yeah, it's a large oh, container. Juliet. Uh, oh, Juliet. So, Juliet, what are you doing? 